Hi, I'm Margaret DeVigo from Pensieri Dolci. Welcome again. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be great. So you will be notified of, of my upcoming videos. What are we making today? I'm making a charcuterie board. Look at this. Doesn't this look amazing? The board looks amazing too, right? Because my husband made it and it's pretty gorgeous. He's very proud of it. So charcuterie boards, you can make it your own, put whatever you want on it, whatever you have in the fridge. And with the charcuterie board goes well with a drink. In the last week, I was able to go to Prince Edward County. It's one of my favorite places to go. It's part of my self care. As soon as we enter the Prince Edward County region, I can just feel my, my stress, my anxiety, my tightness just leave my body it, it's it's a great place i suggest you visit it i had a chance to visit some of my favorite places one being old salt cocktails it's a great place to go with friends with family it's situated it's, it's a mobile cocktail bar the bartender is fantastic his name is eric he shakes that martini shaker like crazy and the drinks are fantastic. They also have a barbecue section where you can have the most delicious sausages in any, so many different ways. I had a chance to speak to the owner, David Banks, a fantastic guy, great guy. The interview went so well. We, we spoke about COVID, how it impacted his business, how it impacted his staff, how it impacted himself. It was very different the last couple of years because being a mobile cocktail bar, he would travel to events, weddings, parties, anything. But with COVID, he had to be situated at the Grange Winery. Beautiful spot. As I said, you can go with your friends. There are picnic tables there, large grass area. You can go with your family like I did. The grandkids were playing with their soccer ball while the adults were sipping on a great cocktail and then we ate together with the juicy barbecued sausage and a toasted bun i'm salivating right now because it, it was delicious and decided to make the charcuterie board to go with the cocktail please stay tuned you're going to enjoy it and please listen to the interview he uh explains exactly how the mental health piece uh, came part of his life within the last two years and I'm sure we can all resonate with with what he had to say. With a cocktail you should always have some food to munch on whether it's nuts, chips, anything like that but I think a charcuterie board is a great way to have different types of little snacks that you can munch on and that's what I'm going to be making for you today is a charcuterie board. I'm going to be making a simple charcuterie board. I have to highlight my board because my husband Walter made it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, he's very proud of the bottom as well and the raw edges. How great is that? Okay, and you've heard me mention before on my episodes that um, starting with a clean palette, right? And this is all empty and we can be cre as creative as we want. Now, I think my centerpiece on my board today is going to be um, goat cheese. So I, what I've read is you should have maybe three cheeses, a soft, a hard, and a fresh. And they also, I also read once you should have a funky one, which I guess is the blue cheese. I don't have that today. So for the soft cheese, I have uh, goat cheese, which is going to be the center of my board today. And this is um, inspired by my friend Lena, who uh, we all belong to the same book club. And the last book club meeting was at my house. And she brought this goat cheese that was drizzled with heated honey and fig jam. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. Just move the knife a bit. And here we go. Just pour that on there. Like 
so. Now, she also brought these little green figs, but I was at the market yesterday and I couldn't find any. And the uh, person kind of felt that maybe they're out of season right now. And on top of that, crushed pistachios. I shelled these last night. Uh, reason being, I've bought shelled pistachios in a plastic container and they were really um, not, they were really wet. They were not dry and crispy like pistachios should be. So there you go. Now, we have some olives. I think I'll put the olives, I'll put the olives there. And the cold cuts. I have some speck, which is smoked prosciutto, which is very good. So I think I'll just lay that here. Put that there. It has a really nice smoky taste. I know there's a little bit of fat at the end here at the side, but that's easily, you can take that off very easily. It just comes off like that. Okay. And then I have some hot soppressata for those that like spicy salami. That's a really good one as well. And then I have some roasted turkey breast which is also nice, very mild. Okay, and we have some soppressata, Venezia soppressata, which is a larger salami. And I'm just gonna lay that here. Remember, this is a casual uh, thing to have for when your friends come over, you don't have to be Super, super neat, but I think that looks good so far. And then sometimes you rearrange things. I have some cut, cut cacciatore, which I'll put here. I have to remember I have my cheese to put. So you know what? I think I'm gonna move some stuff already. You kind of forget what you have. And I'll just put, whoops. I can just lay that there, like that. And I have some regular prosciutto. And I think I'm going to put that over here. Like that. Jacuri boards are pretty wild. I don't, I don't know if you follow some jacuri board Instagram. On, uh, it, you can go crazy. Some uh, some people are just so talented and creative in displaying the the cold cuts. And uh, but today it's just going to be simple. <laughs> All right. Now the crackers. I think we'll cut some cheese first. So I have the fresh cheese that I have today is from Friuli. It's a Friulano cheese. Friuli is in the northern part of Italy. And I know you can just put the chunk of cheese on your board with per the little knife, but I find that a lot of people, they don't want to cut it. They don't want to get up and cut it. But if, they're, if it's cut into cubes, then people will, will get up and have a piece of cheese. I'm just going to put that there because my little cutting board isn't that big. And start off with that. I'll cut it again this way. There we go. And we can put some of that there, the Friolano. I'll put this one back here and move this over a bit. And the hard cheese I got is Manchego cheese from Spain. I really like it. It's uh, um, a robust cheese. It just tastes wonderful. So you have your soft cheese, 
your fresh cheese, which is a very, uh, not too strong of a taste. And then you have sort of like, I think it's a, this manchego cheese, like a sharp cheese. Okay, move that to the side. You also want some fruit on the tray on your board and what perfect fruit is uh, grapes. So I have some grapes here and always remember to cut the grapes. Don't put the whole cluster of grapes on your board because it's just not practical. So I've cut a few and you just place them on your board. It's easier for people to pick up. And of course, they've been washed. Okay. And another fruit you can have, pear goes great with cheese. So here I have a pear, and they're in season too right now, actually. I'll just cut a few slices. some cheese. Okay, now what we need, maybe some nuts. I have some walnuts here. You can have almonds. We already have some pistachios on the goat cheese. So I'm just going to put a few walnuts around the board. Like that. Or you can even have them in a bowl like they are here. Okay, that looks good. Dried apricots would be great as well. And dark chocolate would be great as well. So I'm going to maybe, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Put this like that. And I don't want the chocolate. I'm gonna put the olives here and the chocolate at the end. And I'm going to put maybe a few more walnuts. Okay. And you're going to need some type of cracker or bread. What I have here are some breadsticks, some spelt crackers, tarali, and a nut and grain cracker. If you have a bigger board, you can place them on your board. For today, I have this board and I'll have my crackers on the plate, or you can have them in a basket, but you can have them right close to your board. And this is my board that we're going to enjoy with a nice cocktail. Have little plates beside your board so it's easy for your guests to eat. Have some little forks around, some serviettes. So I got to taste some of this stuff on here. Got my plate. I'm going to have some of the fresh cheese, a little bit of pear, some of the, oh, manchego cheese. And okay, we got to try this. So I'm going to get a cracker. Here we go. Oh, it's nice and soft. Beautiful. Put some of that on there. I think I'm going to scoop some of this up. And there you go. Looks great. Okay. I'm going to try the manchego cheese. Mmm. Tastes like a cheddar. Really good. But well, my mouth is getting kind of dry. I need a drink. I need a great cocktail. Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> Thank you. This drink, I got to take a sip because my mouth is really dry. Hold on. Oh, yeah. 
takes me back to when we were at Old Salt Cocktails. It's a mobile cocktail bar in Prince Edward County. Um, and this is called an Aperol Betty. And it tastes just like it. Thank you. <laughs> and Old Salt Cocktail. You will find them on a uh, winery called the Grange Winery. Um, it's situated on this field of grass with picnic tables surrounding it. Um, and on one side is the winery, the vineyards. Um, the owner, David Banks, fantastic guy. And he has a story for us and you'll hear his story in my interview with him. And the mental health piece of this segment is in that video. Um, please pay, pay, pay close attention to what he says and um, try and make this drink. Old salt cocktails. You may in the background hear big bangs like gunshots. Don't worry, we're safe. It's just to keep the birds away from the vineyards, which are that way. Welcome everybody, I'm Margaret DeVigo from Pinsietti Dolce, and guess where I am today? In Prince Edward County. But extra special, I'm at the Old Salt Cocktail Mobile Cocktail Unit. And I'm here with the owner, David Banks. He's going to be telling us a little bit about himself and a little bit of Old Salt Cocktails. David. How did this happen? How was this born? Yeah, so this came about in uh, 2018. Uh, we took a 78 Prowler, we just took the whole thing and gutted it down in the flatbed and we rebuilt the whole thing. And we wanted to do something custom. So we created uh, the first only mobile wet bar in Ontario. Uh, so what it is is uh, you're looking at a professional bar setting uh, in basically any place you could be. Uh, we operate uh, remotely uh, hundreds of feet off the road. Uh, mm -hmm. Wherever you think you could actually have a party, we could be there, right? So we started off doing weddings and private events, and then eventually we ended up uh, moving to a standalone model in 2020. Uh, our business had changed, so we changed with it, and uh, this is what we have today. Right, so before COVID uh, hit, you were basically all over the place, different venues, yes. weddings, festivals, festivals, private and, parties. Right, then COVID came to visit, yep. And you've been stationed here at the Grange Winery for a couple of years now. Yeah, that's correct. Right? Yeah, right. We've, we've just gone through our second season. Uh, okay. Also quite successful. Great. Um, very much, you know, your county weather. Yeah. A little crazy hot, some nice little thunderstorms. But yes. it's great because you can go down the beach. Yeah. Jump so, in the water, you know. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that you've been able to... Um, manage through COVID. I'm sure it's affected uh, your patrons and y your staff and how I'm how are you doing with this with uh, mental health well-being with your staff yourself? Yeah uh, it's it's been it, it's been um, I'm sure it's been hard for everybody mm -hmm. uh, but we try and look out for our staff we try and make sure that uh, what we're doing for them is uh, creating uh, a space where they can get up in the morning have a normal seat to their life have breakfast get to work, have a nice light lunch, and then hopefully they can be home done for done for dinner. So we want to make sure that like they're taken care of and that everybody feels like they're able to uh, uh, continue to be mm -hmm. a part of this society. Uh, we make sure that they're lodged, have decent housing mm -hmm. uh, for uh, very reasonable rates mm -hmm. so that when they come up here, they're able to uh, continue on with the lifestyle that's uh, you know, inducive to like what a great area we're right. in, right? You know? And uh, we've been here many times and I got to tell you, your staff, your bartender, so, so friendly, so nice. Absolutely. We feel welcomed. We came here with our family not too long ago. It's a great area. It's, uh, we have grandkids. They were running around while we were able to sit down, have a great hot sausage from the barbecue there and uh, enjoy a drink and spend time with family. And it was outdoors. It was great. Um, now, my question for you. Yes, please. How, what's, how long are you open for? Uh, so when do we, you open? As long as, it, uh, as long as it stays warm out, we're here. Okay. Uh, last year we closed October 24th. 
Okay. Uh, we hope to, to keep the party going per yep. se yep. Uh, until the very end of our summer. Yeah. Uh, we're here seven days a week, yep. 12 to five every day. Right. And what do you do in the winter? Uh, well, we shut her down and uh, we make plans for the next year. We, uh, we, we have a lot in the works and yeah. we're really excited to, to figure out what, uh, where we're going with right. this, you know? Check them out on Instagram. I believe it's Old Salt Cocktails. And uh, if you have a chance to come to the county, please do. It's a lovely place. It's a place for my self-care. As soon as I enter Prince Edward County, I can feel my stress and anxiety just, just leave my body. And coming here is extra special for me. Now, are we going to enjoy a drink? We're here with the handsome Eric behind this... Uh, partition here of Old Salt Cocktail and he's going to be mixing up a couple of drinks for us and Eric your f popular drink so far here this year probably the best seller is the uh, Aperol Betty okay course. let's go <laughs> let's do it <laughs> and I'm also going to be making a Boucheron okay so. sounds good What's the Betty's interesting it's sort of uh, a mix between a mimosa and an Aperol spritz uh, there's some fresh orange and grapefruit juice going into this one. It's really refreshing, perfect for a hot summer day. Uh, we've had it on the menu for a couple of years now and it never ceases to be a popular option. Nice. Nice. And then the Boucheron is... It's a whiskey-based cocktail uh, and it's stirred so it's a little closer to say something like a Manhattan... Oh. Or, uh, Walter will like that. Or almost an old <laughs> <fashion. laughs> That's great. I guess uh, the weekends for you are pretty busy. They have been, yeah. Yeah. It's been uh, it's been a fun season. Good. I mean, these days it feels like almost all of Toronto and Montreal comes out to see Yes. Us, so. Yes. Lots of, uh, lots of fun to be had. I tell people oh. this is uh, the best office in the world. It's just me. And it is. <laughs> it is. There we go. Fantastic. And when your season is done here, where do you move to? Where do you go? Well, last, uh, last year I lived in Kingston at the time. Yep. Uh, this year... I'm thinking of staying out here in the county for the winter. Oh. Uh, there's lots of work to be had. And, oh, uh, good. It's a great, uh, great people to live out here. Good. Nice. Not a bad way to be spending a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> Part of the garnish for the Boucheron here is the uh, House Aromatic Bitters from Kinsip, just down the road. Just a few dashes. And we're going retro with the cocktail onions. Set. I'm going to, can I take my, my mask off and turn this way and Please sip? Do, of course, yeah. Thank you. Well, cheers to everybody. So refreshing and so delicious. You've got to come here. Old Salt Cocktails. Check them out. Thank you so much. Anytime.